What is up guys, Chris here, Bear Market Mining. Thanks again for stopping by. So today we're talking about this guy. This is my brand new Nasana AI GPU rental rig. So as you guys know, we've been doing a bunch of rental platforms lately. We've done Octospace, Salad, Claw, Vast, all that sort of stuff. So naturally the next progression is to try Nasana. I've heard good things. I've seen some other creators uh, do some content on it. So today I wanna build a rig, take you through all of that, set it up, and then start talking about the numbers and see if this is actually worth it, right? Can we actually turn a profit on this rental platform? Let's get into it. All right, let's uh, let's talk parts to start. So uh, these were pre-constructed old CPU mining rigs. So these are a an MSI B450 A Pro Max motherboard. Um, it's got a 5900X in there. Of course, our Assassin V2 cooler, and then we've got a few various other parts here. We've got Windows on a one terabyte SSD. We've got 32 gigabytes of RAM here, don't have capacity for 64. They're all being used up by my AI rigs. And then we've got a PNY 4070 here. So we're gonna set this up on our bootleg test bench. We don't have any frames spare left over. So for now it's gonna sit here. And we've got a really good Seasonic 1300 watt power supply modular, way too much. Now let me tell you when I started recording this video, we tried to use this rig right here with this power supply. It needed a BIOS update. We updated the BIOS, that didn't work. Then Windows wasn't working. We tried this one. The BIOS wouldn't update again. Finally got the BIOS updated. So yeah, I pulled these off completely working. So I turned them off, they were fully set up and then they just, you know, didn't want to play. You guys will know if you've built rigs like this before that no matter how many times you are, you know, you try and build a rig, there's always something, right? There's always something that wants to go wrong. So I'm not gonna take you through the whole build of this whole thing, installing it. You've seen that a hundred times at this point. And if you wanna see one, search in my channel, there's plenty of them, but let's get all these parts put together and hopefully it will run seamlessly and we'll start talking about install and all that sort of stuff. Let's get into it. All right, we are all assembled here. We've got the RAM in, we've got our Windows SSD. Now that has actually been reflashed. Um, I've basically deleted everything off that because like I said, it was corrupted. We've got our media installer kit in there. Man, this has been a pain in the, you know what, let me tell you. But uh, we wanna try to turn it on now and uh, that BIOS hasn't been reset. So it should just turn itself on and then we'll see what happens. So let me reach over here. Okay, good sign. BIOS hasn't been reset, so it should just boot into the installer, but we want to flash it, so... All right. Okay, so that doesn't have the Windows Media Installer on it, so... We're gonna to need to redo that again. We will be right back. We'll flash the Windows Media Installation Kit onto that. And then we'll try again. The saga continues. Okay, so it turns out that in the chaos, I had actually left the, uh, the BIOS file for this motherboard on there and had flashed over the Windows Media Creation Tool. So let's try turn this on again and it should, keyword being should, boot us into the Windows installer. All right, booting up, seems fine so far. Well, let's see what happens here. It should in theory just take us into this Windows media creation tool if everything is done correctly. All right, 
we're up, it's go time. So what I'm gonna do now is get this all set up and then we'll check back in when, uh, when we're actually in Windows and go through a few of the things in the installation. So I'm just gonna jump back here really quickly. As I said, this was previously set up for CPU mining. And uh, when I was mid installation of Windows there, it turns out that it, uh, it was crashing. So I just wanna go back in and we're just gonna, in fact, I think I can just restore all these to defaults. Isn't there a factory restore to default somewhere? Not too sure. So let's just go do this manually. Let's turn off XMP, scroll back down and let's just go auto mode. F10, save and exit. We'll see how that works. We'll check back in a sec. That seemed to work. As you can see, we're up and installing now. Last time when it asked me to select my disk, it just froze. So like I said, this had the previous uh, BIOS settings, undervolts and all that on. So for now, we're gonna just leave it all uh, as stock settings and get into Windows and start installing Nasana because this is the first time I've used uh, Nasana before. I was gonna try it a while ago, but I thought better not. So I'm not sure exactly what the best specs and uh, undervolts and all that are. So for now, let's run it stock and we'll check back in when we're inside Windows. All right guys, so after spending probably the last three hours trying to troubleshoot this uh, on Windows and getting registration failed consistently, no matter what we do, we're trying on Linux, right? It's gonna be a lot easier, a lot smoother, I'm assuming. Windows sucks. PSA, a friendly reminder, we're never doing Windows again when there's a Linux option. So we're gonna get this one up and running now on uh, on Linux after much frustration. And uh, and then maybe we can get this thing deployed and, uh, and check out how it all works, what it earns, all that sort of stuff. So we'll check back in in a minute. All right, so what is Nasana, right? So it has a native token called NOS, but we'll get into that in a second. Let's talk about what it actually does. So like many of these other platforms, it's uh, it's centralized or decentralized, however you wanna look at it, compute power, right? So it says whether your GPUs are in a data center or at home, like mine are, and many of yours will be, Nasana offers simple onboarding and tools to monetize your resources by connecting to a global network. You can monetize your GPUs, and that's what we're all about, right? Since this uh, bear market has hit and alt season hasn't really popped, AI is what we're all turning to. Now, some people have a hard time using the term AI. I'm not sure exactly why that is, especially when a lot of the models are referred to as AI, but uh, you know, it does a bunch of stuff, AI included at whatever scale. So as we can imagine, as passive income, as a global clientele, so you can rent your GPUs to anyone all around the world. Now, some people will be looking for better ping, so depending on where you are, you may not uh, get rented by people across the other side of the world, but that doesn't matter. As long as you're getting rented, you're happy, right? So all of the normal sort of stuff, 3,000 GPUs connected, so 2 million, 251,000 hours of compute, a million NOS token and nearly 3 million jobs. So this isn't new by any means. Um, a member of my Discord did tell me about this a little while ago and we were thinking about getting onto it, but we sort of held back, but now is the time. So this guy right here looks like a good bloke. He's got a good setup guide. So maybe check that one out if, you are, if you're looking to get into that. And down here, it has a little uh, calculator. Right, so you can enter in your GPUs. Um, I wouldn't always trust these calculators. I'm gonna do some numbers myself to see if uh, we can actually make what it's telling us here. Uh, we've got a 4070, but for example, they're, they're alleging that a 4090, you know, over 24 hour period can make you seven bucks. Right, so that's, uh, that's not too bad. So depending on how this 4070 goes, we might, uh, we might switch one of the rigs over. So this apparently is $2.10 a day uh, US, which is about $3 Aussie. So I had this 47 on Okta and I guess because it's only a 12 gigabyte VRAM card, my 4060 TIs, 3090s, 5090s, 5060 TIs were all getting rented, but the 4070 wasn't. And uh, the rental prices for the 4070 on Okta were down to five cents an hour, which is you know about half this value. So 
we'll see what the numbers end up at. Uh, your standard minimum connection, 100 down, 50 up. Obviously, the better internet you've got, you know, the more likely you're going to get rented for certain tasks. Minimum 12 gigabytes of VRAM, 256 storage SSD. You always want to max these out as much as possible. And we've sort of done that with our build based on what we've got. Um, I've spent a ton of money on, uh, you know, GPUs and SSDs and coolers for my ASICs in the last couple of months. So I'm not really trying to splash out anymore. So the 32 gigabytes that we have will have to do and we'll see how that affects us later. Let's check out my rig in here. So we're over here on the Nasana dashboard. Now, this wasn't exactly straightforward uh, to figure out. Fortunately, uh, I do have a mate of mine in Discord who could help me through a bit of this stuff. In fact, a couple of people. So shout out to you guys. You guys know who you are. Um, and they helped a lot. So this is the account, right? So everything is going to link off this. So this is the, uh, the wallet address, I guess, so to speak, that it gets. Correct me if I'm wrong on this stuff, guys, because I'm uh, I'm still learning the, all of this one. The dashboard, like I said, not super straightforward. If you compared it to uh, Claw or Octospace, they're much more self-explanatory. But now that I've been messing around with this, it is making a little bit more sense. So you can see up here, it's got you know your client version, what GPUs you've got, your disk space. Now I've only got a one terabyte uh, disk SSD in this. Now I did read up on something because this is reading about 1.5 terabytes, something about virtual memory holding space somewhere. You guys let me know about that. All your sort of stuff, right? Um, your NOS balance status, it's running. Um, the drivers, the country, how much NOS you've got staked. Um, pretty much everything. You guys can look at the screen, you can see what's there. Now your download speed, this was a bit of a strange one. Um, I presume there might be a bit of a delay uh, in the uh, you know, in the upload, because my upload speed should be, you know, about one gig down and soon to be about a hundred up. So it's only recognizing about 200 megabytes of that. So I'm assuming that will sort of, you know, figure itself out a little bit there. We have our uh, uh, LLM performance here. This is a comparison between you and other people with similar rigs. Um, I'm not sure exactly what this one is here, but I'm getting cooked, apparently, whatever this means. So <laughs> you guys let me know. I'm sure there'll be people who know much more about it than me. Um, clock speeds, we look pretty on par. Power usage, oh, we're lower than this. So whatever this one is at the end here, oh, that's per, that's just the number of users. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. And temperature seems about the same as well. So I guess in theory, you should see a pretty linear graph, but we drop down here when we go from 50 to 100 don't really understand that. Moving down, we've got uh, the actual deployments that we've been running, right? So what I've been told is that for the first 24 hours, you can just expect benchmarks. Now, I'm not sure if this is the standard operating procedure, how it works. Um, I think with the 47 in particular, there's a limited amount of, uh, of people who want to deploy, right? So if I drag this over here. You can see I'm queued one out of one in the market. So Technically, that's a good thing. You would have to imagine there's not a lot of competition for me, but uh, yeah, just benchmark jobs so far. And interestingly enough, I'll flash some uh, some power meter readings from my uh, my smart switch. You know, for half an hour, it could be running anywhere from you know 200 to 250 watts for the rig, and then for the other half an hour, it's down to like 85. So maybe it's benchmarking the CPU, then the GPU, or both, or the VRAM not 100% sure but right now it's all just benchmark jobs and the price rate is pretty good right seven cents an hour not much to write home about I think I use about three cents an hour at full power with my electricity so it's still profitable and I wasn't getting any other jobs on other platforms so so far so good I'm going to keep this running um, for a little bit of time now in hindsight, I found out you can just run this on Hive OS. So if you guys saw the start where I went through the headache of messing around on Windows to no avail, I just uh, loaded up an Ubuntu um, Linux version, did it on that, which is fine. So it just, you know, I can SSH and PowerShell into it right here. But then I found out you can just put it on Hive OS. So I'm not undoing it now. I'm leaving it as it is. Um, but for the future rigs, if we build more of these, we'll definitely uh, 
We'll definitely just put them in Hive OS so we can see exactly um, what they're doing temperature wise and all that sort of good stuff. So looking at all this stuff here, guys, give me a bit of input, right? Do I need to update my driver version? Is that going to earn me more money? I'm not sure what CUDA version they're up to. Um, is my upload or download speed holding me back? All that sort of stuff. So I'm looking for a bit of help, bit of information here, guys. But so far, new platform. I'm enjoying it. The headaches getting started could have been a lot easier if maybe I just looked around and uh, watched a couple other people's videos and put it on Hive OS, but that doesn't matter. We know now. So for the future, that's what we'll be doing. So pretty good. Eight jobs so far, just benchmarking. I mean, I don't know. See, it says 4770 community. So I'm wondering if this is just something they offer to everyone who doesn't have jobs, which look, I don't mind because this GPU was sitting around doing nothing and now it's actually earning some money. So we'll take that that is gonna wrap it up guys let me know what you think is uh is nasana worth it have you guys been running nasana for a while is my build you know gonna pick up jobs do i need to give it more time let me know down in the comments guys and uh, if you want to chat more about nasana or any of these other platforms make sure you join the discord the link will be in the description and i'll catch it in the next one peace